We begin this morning with breaking news. A violent day in Charlotte, police investigating a deadly stabbing and three different shootings. Take a look at this map. This is where all the ha incidents happened. The deadly stabbing on Perth Court just off of the plaza. WCNC Charlotte's Richard Devane joining us live from the scene right now. And Richard, you spoke with the victim's family. Absolutely correct here. Good afternoon to you. Good for after Friday afternoon, everyone. I'm going to step out of the way. Let take you, let you take a look at this apartment right behind me. This is the unit it all happened in. Right now, things quiet. You wouldn't even know the sadness and tragedy that happened inside that apartment. But if you were here earlier this morning, you would have seen. Take a look at the video. It happened around five o'clock this morning, right here at these apart this apartment complex, which is off of uh, Perth Court, which is right off of the plaza. Police say they came to the scene because they got a 911 one call from the man who actually was inside the apartment with a woman and police are interviewing him right now. As you can well imagine, the police were trying to figure out exactly what happened, but they interviewed that man, took him into custody. This appears to be the result of the domestic violence incident and police say it's a tragic, but there are also some things that people should do into, instead of coming up with these tragic results. Listen to Chief, um, excuse me, to Major Brisbane. I think the most important thing to do when you're in a domestic violence relationship is to tell somebody. Um, there's always somebody that you can reach out to for help. Uh, there are numerous domestic violence centers um, in Mecklenburg County and there are resources all over the place. Um, but sometimes it starts with something as simple as just telling a family member. We spoke with her family. They were too emotional to speak on camera. Of course, at this time there, we do not know if there have been charges filed, but they do say that the person who they believe is responsible, they are talking to, and they'll then go on and have charges maybe later in the day. When we get them, we'll give it to you. We're right here in East Charlotte. Richard Devane for WCNC Charlotte.